Well, today I'm going to be firing up the old big beastie, handmade one. So let's see how she runs today. Using all the big proper bits. This one's always a thirsty one. That's still room. This one seems to take about a mug full of uh, hot water. Up. Yep, that's about right. So. steam oil it's good stuff this stuff She goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, get that bit of the old pullet. Right. Fill up the old burner. You notice yourself. Need more. I probably will be taking this bar, so I want to paint there. I want to paint that and that on the pet. I want to probably go green with the pedestal, green with that, bring that all in. Get some black. That looks like that's black, or just paint it. And just you know, really tidy it up a bit. You know? And also to get the mother's mag polish right.
this stuff here is absolutely brilliant like you know for cleaning metals because it keeps it just polished up as well i use it on all my e-cigs and stuff anything i can find it just adds a lasting protective film really good stuff Oh, goat. I'll just knock the phone over. Well, that's clever, isn't it? Now it doesn't want to stand up on its own. Why do we buy this cheap crap? Oh, that's not very helpful, is it? I'll just put it, put it in port. All right, we're back. I've had to put the original case on it, like you know, so it's not going to be as good as it was. If it was any good. That smell of meths. Whoa, it's lovely. That new oil, it makes it like, it's, it's like oiled silk. I'm going to pull that out just a little bit to even that up. Here we go. Just where it needs to be. Well, we have water beginning to rise. Well, whilst we're waiting for that, you can listen to the sounds of me making myself a cheeky cup of tea. absolutely live on this stuff because of all the medications now I can't really drink very much because I'm not a well person that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do some of these videos as well is because my two grandsons who are not with us stolen by social services and dodgy people um, well the eldest will remember me but the oldest one and the youngest won't it's just to give them an idea because I doubt very much if I'm going to be around when they come out of adoption so Anyway, that's a by the by, like, you know, we all have our own burdens in life. Do recommend this steam oil, it's absolutely brilliant. And a few quid off of eBay as well. It just feels so smooth. She's nearly there. So the reason I like this engine is this was made by Mr. D. Weaver in 1983, which if you think about it, it's quite an old engine, and this is all hand built. I mean, you know, every single bit, none of it is preformed, apart from, well, no, no, because like the, the knurling on the screw at the back of the um, trunnion is like handmade. That's what attracts me to it, is the fact that this bloke sat there and you know, basically built a steam engine. Now, can you hear the hydraulic in? Oh, she's spurred in. Oh, we have back pressure now. Look at that. Straight away. It took me about three weeks to get this to run. Give two, I'll give a shout out to 
Keith Appleton because like I was very much like inspired by all this work on Stuart engines and to also Dave or Ave another one um whoa well, there she goes um Tubal Kane Mr P on YouTube another one who's like you know giving me some very very good instruction and ideas with engineering there she goes now this used to be such a pig to start Runs like a champ. It's quite clever how he's put the blower into it because it comes out at the top, as you can see, which is very, very pleasing to watch. But he also blows the flames as well. There he is, that's better. So it's quite an ingenious way. I shape those pipes the way they are, unfortunately. But... I never got round to making the. Um... I wanted to put a throttle on it, which I may do at some point. But I enjoy the engine for what it is. It really is a really good engine. That's um, off of eBay. That was on there for absolutely months. That burner was. I, I finally got it because like, I thought, yeah, that's just about right, and it was in just the right size. Big old three burner. It doesn't go too fast. It doesn't go too slow. It goes just right. My plan for the future is to uh, get myself a little miniature for a uh, mini lane or something, and I would love to do something like this. I'm very much inspired by this engine. You know, it is good, honest British principle engineering at work. One thing about that steam oil is taking a lot of the knock out of everything. What I do need to do though is I need to do a um, get a silicon O-ring or something, ATFE O-ring into that piston. I think it'll go a lot faster. She's run out of puff. I've not put a lot of meths in there, so it's not going to run forever. There she goes. It is a wet engine, of course. It's not like the Willescos, which are nice and dry, the Mammoths are nice and dry, but it, it's a wet engine. Until I get some more meths, I can't run the Willes uh, the Mammoths. So I thought I'd use my last burn with this. Do need to face off the the transfer ports 
because as you can see it's just a little bit leaky. Never wants to run the opposite way. Yeah, the steam is very wet. Well, I think that'll be me signing off. See you next time. I'll hopefully to be bringing um, start on the. The beginner's guide to the Reliance Robin, um, and also a bit of work on my Vespa, which I'm hoping to do. See you later.